Hey everyone around the world, across continents and oceans. Welcome back. It's March 13th. Have some new subscribers. This is a channel discussing the reality of our predicament and also a checkup on our own mental health, a group therapy like session for those that are aware of abrupt climate system change and biodiversity loss, among other existential crises that we face. I also have some redness right here. I'm aware it's purely cosmetic. I think some rash popped up over the past few days. It's not pink eye, so I'm fine. More importantly is your happiness. Recent psychological report studied people with happiness goals and found that a few things like exercising, journaling, practicing gratitude, going on nature walks, among a few things are habits that you have to continuously work on to promote your own sense of well-being and happiness. In addition to mental health, Sam Vaknin just put out a video two hours ago, which was probably one of his best videos he's ever made. He's very lengthy and um, informative about his analysis. But he put it very simply, mentally healthy people control their impulses, are aware of their consequences of their actions, and choose to always minimize harm to others and to themselves by way of practicing self-love and empathy. The reason I stress this is because mental health is rampant. We are a very ill culture. I don't have to tell you that, but I'm just restating that for the record. At In my mid-30s, you know, to this day, I would say it's gotten worse. Um, I drive around the city, and I almost, I can count on every single day, at least half the people in their vehicles are reaching for their vape, a sign of addiction, narcissism, going inwards, um, struggling mentally, you know, you could fault them, but I would fault the system. That's obviously extremely unsustainable. Um, it breeds mental illness. And that's why I'm painting this so stark to you, is that you protect your own well-being now and also being aware of the facts, the precautionary principle, that this is our reality. Um, we are in abrupt climate system change. This February was the warmest February on record, in addition to the warmest winter on record. I was also informed that the Great Lakes never froze, or if they did, very little. So that should serve as a reminder that if you needed to start making your contingency plans or exit plans, especially from populated areas, cities, you do that now. There are Many opportunities to go wolfing, volunteer at farming, uh, places, you know, small farms, and just building your homestead, finding an intentional community. And again, I would go back to this uh, mental health checklist, you know, send that to everyone and you know, because our culture is so troubled and beyond repair at this point. You know, when you have this many people disillusioned with their place in life, their government, their own sense of self-worth, it's obvious. You know, seeing men and women my age and older wearing Trump hats in public is like, man, we've lost it. There's no way we're coming back to normalcy after this election and furthermore in the future. Certainly not by the end of this decade. So a reminder and a, uh, you know, poignant uh, advice here is to take care of yourself. And I know, of course, also that there are plenty of mentally healthy people. Millions, you know, and... If they have 
families or children of their own, then they're just working all the time to take care of their family. You know, but if you're out here on your own, just know you're not alone and you need to seek out people who are mentally healthy, who can control their impulses, are aware of the consequences of their actions, and choose to always minimize harm to others and themselves. Practice self-love and empathy it is a core foundation of a healthy relationship. And I've been through a few with older people, people my age, you know, and that takes time and experience and really uh, introspection that our culture, again, doesn't require. It's go, 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 deceive, make money, get ahead, cut throats, screw morality. You know, I could diverge off into other topics like how you know, much of the economy, how the wealth gap has, has screwed the lower 90% and how all this contributes just to a, a very dismal picture of where we are as a society, lack thereof, and where we're going. A world devoid of truth and sound reasoning. Okay? Not going to hold you too long, just a vlog here getting some things off my chest the climate is on a worst case worst case scenario we are trending above rcp 8.5 and your mental health is paramount in these times so do what you can within your means live harmoniously and joyfully in the present moment and take care of yourself I'll talk to you soon. See ya.